Hi, welcome to an Arduino step-by-step -step course by RoboJax. In this video, we're going to learn how we can change the direction of rotation of a DC motor using two relays, independent relays module, or one module with two relays. <coughs> how we can calculate the power rating of a relay 15 ampere 125 and 10 ampere 250. explain it to you for the DC motor this is a DC motor and it, it has a specific polarity for example if I connect this power don't worry about the wire and th at this location you see that it is now rotating counterclockwise if I stop it you will be able to see that this is rotating in this direction now you see I've connected this to the black wire if I switch these wires you will notice that the rotation, the direction of rotation of the motor has changed. As you can see now, it is rotating at this direction, clockwise. I've set this very slow so you can see it. Uh, what it means is that you can change the direction of rotation of a motor by switching the a polarity and I'm going to show you how to use two relays to change the direction of rotation of motor using Arduino very easily now let me explain the relay module I'm gonna explain uh, the two module next so for the relay we have VCC this will be connected to 5 volts and this ground will be connected to ground of Arduino and this is the N which will receive signal from Arduino and we have here an LED when we have power at these pins this LED will turn on telling us that there is power when the signal receives and relay is energized to make the connection this green LED will turn on telling us that it has received signal we do not worry about the circuits that is driving the relay. I have separate video explaining driving the relay with transistors and other components. The link will be below the video. At this side for the relay we have three terminals. One is called common, it's at the middle and then on the right side this is labeled as NC, normally closed and this has been labeled as normally open and which I'm going to show you later. And we use two of this and if you are using this type of relay module which has two is that you don't need separate 5 volts for this, 5 volts for this because one 5 volts would be enough for both and two and this module is available on eBay, AliExpress or Amazon as well as this one here you might get it without this pen doesn't matter but for this one we have ground and VCC, VCC is on this side. You will connect five volts here, ground here, and this one is called N1, N2. So this is as if this is really one, really two, and input one, input two, and here N1, N2 are here at the middle. And for the two terminals for each relay, we have three terminal. Here is the three terminal for this, and the three terminal is for this. Exactly the same. And the beauty of this one is, I have separate video explaining this, that it has optocoupler meaning the circuit will be isolated totally from the other side and it, and it will be optically uh, coupled the signal goes via op optocoupler device on the other side so it's much safer uh, we have a battery the positive goes through a switch to one terminal and the negative goes to the other one so the switch can be either on the line between the positive and the terminal or we can have it at the negative of the terminal doesn't matter and when we connect the positive for example to the positive labeled terminal of the motor because the motor will have a specific label if you connect that positive to the positive 
and negative to the negative, it will rotate a certain direction, for example, counterclockwise or CCW. And if you want to change the rotation, you can connect this positive, which was connected before there, now connected here, and the negative, you connect it to the positive, now the rotation will change. Before it was rotating counterclockwise, now it is rotating clockwise. Th by changing the polarity of the power to motor, we can change the direction. And we cannot connect the motor directly to Arduino, so we can send different uh, signal because we need a driver. But because we are using now, because we are using relay, we will put instead of driver, we will put a relay here between the Arduino and the motor, and we will be able to control the direction of rotation of motor. Here is how I have connected the relay. We will connect relay one and relay two in this way. The this is normally closed, common, and normally open. These are the three pins. This is the coil, which will be either off or will be on. And here I've connected normally closed of relay one to normally closed of relay two to your power or positive line. And normally open of relay two is connected to normally open of relay one, and it is connected to the ground. Your motor, one of the pin will be connected to common of relay 2, and the other pin will be connected to common of relay 1. And here, in this case, relay 2 is off and relay 1 is on, so the, this coil is on and it has been energized and the, this contact is low. This is off and the contact is not low, it's up. And that causes the motor to rotate to the right. The current comes from here, it doesn't go because through this, because this is open, there is no connection to this uh, not normally closed pin. So the current comes here to this uh, two pins that are closed and goes to the positive. And from this side, the negative goes through this to contact to the ground and the motor will rotate to the right or clockwise. And here, when you want to rotate the motor, not in this direction, but into this direction. Now relay two is on and relay one is off. So when the relay one is off, the current will come here, passes through normally closed to this pin. And the positive, instead of connecting to the top, now it's connected to the ground. So we have changed the polarity of the motor. And as a result, the positive cannot go this way because it's open. It will come through this contact goes to the negative terminal and exits from the positive, goes from here to the ground, and this time the motor will rotate to the other direction because this wire is now connected to the ground. Let me explain the wiring for the relay. I've labeled this relay one, relay two, and I've taped them together so they're not moving too much. This normally closed pin, is connected from relay 2 to relay 1. So they are connected, and this goes to the battery, this wire. And then normally open of this relay has been connected to normally open using this brown wire. And from here, I have put another wire from normally open, which goes to the battery. So for the battery, I have two wires. Doesn't matter which is which, unless your motor is very critical. Otherwise, just put positive or negative and then you will find out which way to connect it so motor rotates in your desired direction. And here the middle of this is connected to one wire of the motor and the middle terminal which is common has been connected to the other wire of the motor. And here is my motor with two wires. From ground of Arduino I've placed one wire into this side that has blue color. So this is my negative or ground, and from 5 volts, I've taken this orange to the side that is red. So this line will be all 5 volts, and this line will have ground if I need it. And here, for, for relay 1, the input will be connected to pin 2, and then for the second one, will be the input will be connected to pin 3. And here are those two pins. Blue from relay 1 is connected to pin 2 and green from relay 2 is connected to pin 3. And finally, I've connected this red 
the left side a VCC using red wire and VCC of this using red wire I've connected to the breadboard to this red side and the brown to this side which is negative here for this dual relay I've put one wire from this using this yellow wire to the other one from normally closed to the other normally closed so these three pins are for this three pin for this so the first pin to the first pin and then one more wire from the same test pin uh, f from the same pin so this will go to the battery and here from the normally open of this to the normally open of this I've put one orange wire and then from this pin one wire to the battery so I have two wires for the battery both one from the left side one from the right side of this common now the middle two wires are left so I can connect my motor here and here these are the two wires of my motor one is connected to the middle of this relay and the other is connected to the middle pin of this so the common pins and here is the motor this is ground this is connected to the ground of Arduino using yellow wire and the last pin is VCC this has been connected to 5 volts of Arduino and one is for relay 1 and in 2 is for relay 2 and here in 1 green have been connected to pin 2 blue is connected to pin 3 Now let me explain the code. We are defining two pins for the relay, relay one and relay two. So you can use any other pin that is available in your Arduino, whatever Arduino Uno, Mega, Nano, Micro, whatever you have. Just put a digital pin here that is available. So I used pin two and three with my Arduino. And inside the setup, this will run once. We have to define two pins as an output and we use pen mode relay one this is as if I type two so that variable will be used instead of two as an output so this defines pin two as an output and then this defines pin three for relay two so relay two is three as an output after that we have to keep the motor off uh, to keep it off you, we write digital write relay one this is the pen number and then we put here high or low if we put two, both of them high or both of them low, the relay will be off and the motor will not work. So uh, because I'm using in this case low trigger, I put both of them high so the relay will be off. And then we define the serial monitor with 9600 baud. If you open your serial monitor by clicking at the tools, serial monitor, or you can press Ctrl Shift M or press this icon so the serial monitor will open. Now, the value that you can set is on the lower right side and it is 9600 baud, and it must match this value, otherwise you will not be able to read the value, the text. And then after that we print this text, LN mean new line, so this prints another text and another new line, and we give the user two seconds to read this text, and the setup is ended. So this will run once, and inside the loop the code will run continuously. Now let's see how we can control the motor in a counterclockwise direction or CCW. We use digital write relay 1, the pin number, as low, and digital write relay 2, high. As I explained in the diagram, so we set one relay as high, the other as row, low, and this will make the, the motor to rotate in one direction. Let's call it CCW, because it doesn't matter if you change the wires of the motor, motor will rotate in the other direction. So this will rotate in one direction and we print this text and we keep it for three seconds rotating in that direction. After that we want to turn off the motor then we use the same code except relay one, relay two, both of them are high so uh, this will keep the relay or the motor off. We print this text stopped and then we keep the motor stopped for two seconds. I keep it for two seconds because one second or half a second will take the motor to stop uh, by itself so two seconds but you can change the value whatever you want and then now this time we want to change the direction and if you pay attention this was low high one and two now I'm doing high low now the motor will rotate in the other direction for relay one relay two 
and we print the text and we keep it for three seconds and then we stop again the motor for two seconds and then we print this line so we know the loop is done for a real world application you just need to use this or this one or the motor so you may you may not use or may use this text or not but the time is up to you or maybe continuously based on some trigger or some value the motor rotation will change and here is advanced code for controlling motor direction with two relay the difference between this code and previous code is that you can set easily with the le uh, level of trigger of the relay module if your relay is high trigger or low trigger it will work very easily this the section is the same and here we have constant integer we call it trigger type equal low minus low so you can type low if yours is high you can type h i g h with uppercase and these two variables are used internally do not worry about this you will see how i use them inside the setup this was exactly the same as before we check if trigger type is two equal sign this is for comparing this value with low if it is low then we say relay on means low and relay off means high so we use instead of high and low we will use this one in the code and here our relay on will be low and relay off will be high and then we set the relay one using digital right relay one off and relay two also relay off this relay off mean high in this case we set the relay one using digital right relay one off and relay two also relay off this relay off mean high in this case and if the relay trigger type is high which is not low else will be executed and we set this time relay on was low and is high and relay off is low and the same way we use exactly the same as before we turn off both relays and then we initialize the serial monitor and print the sticks and wait for two seconds inside the loop i have created a function called motor ccw this will make the motor to rotate in ccw and we for whatever time you want even if you want continuously remove this otherwise this will keep it for three seconds and then we have motor stop for whatever time you want i want it for three two seconds so you will see that this will stop the motor and then motor cw this will ccw and motor cw this will make the motor to rotate in clockwise direction and then for three seconds and we stop it and again we print this text and the loop will go on now this motor ccw and cw have been here motor ccw use digital right relay and we use relay on this is as if i type here uh, pen two, uh, 2 and then I type here 3 and then he here I type he high or low depending on a type of relay so one is high one is low and this will cause the, cause the motor to rotate in this direction and we print the text and then for CW it's uh, just the opposite off is up on is low here in the stop we have relay off relay off in both cases so both relays are off and we print the text so this will make it very clean and easy to use here and control the relay and here is a demonstration of the motor control as you can see we see on the screen counterclockwise and it is now clockwise rotating as you can see this relay is now when it's off both of them are off now this is on and the other one was off so the direction will change as you can see the motor is rotating perfectly in ccw and cw i've reduced the voltage so it makes less noise uh, and i've applied only 1.5 volts this can work with 12 volts let me increase the voltage And here is a demonstration of dual relay as you can see the serial monitor is also open and 
it tells you the value stopped rotating as you can see when it rotates in one direction only one relay is on now this is on and the other one is off so it rotates in one direction when it is stopped both of these relay will be off and you do need breadboard for the wiring for this now let me increase the voltage to 12 volts this is a 12 volts currently i have 1.6 volts And this is a demonstration of advanced code. You will not see any difference in terms of operation. Please make sure to subscribe by clicking at the subscribe button in here. Thank you. Thank you for watching. This was how to use two relays to control the direction of DC motor. If you learned something and found this useful, please thumb up as this will help my video in the search algorithm of YouTube. If you have comment or question, please post it at the comment section below. I try to answer and reply. And don't forget to subscribe so you get updates of my upcoming videos.